uh, there was a man, a preacher, and this preacher had a, a, a lawyer friend, and he loved this lawyer friend, and he, he, he wanted his friend to be saved, just like some of us do. We want our friends and family members to be saved, amen? And, and the preacher used to invite the lawyer every single Sunday, my friend, come to church, come to church, come to church. And the, and the lawyer would say, ah, maybe, you know, like some of us did in the beginning, amen? And there was one Sunday, the, the lawyer said, okay, I'm going to come, amen? So the preacher was at his altar, and he sees the, the lawyer friend coming in. So the preacher begins to pray, oh, Lord God, give me a, a strong message, give me a strong message, and, and do not let that old man talk to my friend, please. Because there was a man in the congregation that he had a habit of asking everybody if they were saved or not. So the preacher comes in, the, the lawyer comes in, the preacher preaches his message, and then he makes an altar call. And then the preacher looks at the old man, the old man goes towards the lawyer, and the, the, and the old man grabs a hold of the arm of the, of the lawyer, and the lawyer got furious, so he walked out. And the preacher said, oh, man, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, God. Then, at midnight, the lawyer calls the preacher and says, preacher, preacher, come, come over, please. Come, I need to talk to you right now. Please come. And the preacher says, oh, my friend, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And the lawyer said, sorry for what? He said, oh, for the old man that bothered you in service. Preacher, don't even worry about that. Come. So the preacher goes to the lawyer's house. And the lawyer says, my friend, my soul is in distress. My soul is going to perish. Tell me, how can I be saved? So the preacher leads him into the prayer of salvation, shows him the light of Christ. And once the lawyer was regenerated and saved, the preacher gets down and says, my friend, what, what was it in my sermon that, that led you to the Lord? And the lawyer said, oh, reverend, oh, pastor, preacher, it had nothing to do with your sermon, but it was that old man that approached me. He came up to me and said, hey, do you want to go to heaven? And I said, no. And he said, then go to hell then. And he walked away. And he said that on the way home, on the ride home, all he kept hearing was heaven or hell, heaven or hell, heaven or hell. My goodness, if it's not heaven, it's hell. Hello? Back row, middle row, front row. Nursery, ushers, greeters, tech team, music ministry, preachers. Heaven or hell? Hello? Heaven or hell? Amen. I'll leave you guys with that question. Now, everybody stand up. Let's pray and get ready to worship the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, Father. Father of glory. Father of majesty. Oh, righteous God. Holy Father. Righteous judge of all the earth. Son of the living God. Holy Spirit of fire and truth. You are welcomed in this house, Lord. Come, Father. Come, Lord. You who, you who sit between the cherubims, Lord, don't stay up there, Lord, but come down in this house, Lord. Invade this house, Lord. Open the heavens, Father. Let the people experience you today, Lord. Let the people encounter you this day, Lord. Depression must go. Anxiety must go. Coronavirus must go. Cancer must go. For there's no such thing in your kingdom, Father. And those that are dry, catch fire this day. Hallelujah, Father, I pray, Lord, that this day you speak through the preacher, Father, that you put the words of the living God in his mouth, Lord, that he may speak boldly the words of the living God, that your people may be transformed this day, that they may know you, Father, that they may walk this place differently than the way they came in, Lord, Father. Father, in this day we exalt you, Lord. We magnify you. We honor you. We glorify you above all people, places, and things. So exalt yourself in the hearts of your people, Father. Come, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, my days, 
Goodness. 